Hello and welcome to the highlights of the first one day international in the Samsung Cup between Pakistan and India. These highlights coming to you from the National Stadium here in Karachi, where after 15 years, India and Pakistan get into a full series in this country. So history is being made today. The pitch, as one would expect, right through the series, it's a batting beauty. It's a batting paradise, if I might call it. Looks good and will certainly play good as well. The team winning the toss would like to bat first. Well, that is something that we would expect. And as a result, the batting uh, strength of both teams look pretty good. Vivius Lakshman injury problems. He is out. Mohamed Kev comes back. And as far as Pakistan is concerned, they have decided to rest Shahid Afridi and Saklin Mushtaq, the two big names in the Pakistan 11. Let's get straight into the action. Ramiz Raja and Ian Healy are our commentators. He runs in. Down the leg side and a call away. So India off the mark. Wide and uh, well, that almost hit Inzi. Extravagant movement. There is certainly some uh, movement out there. Another wide from Shrebatha. That was a quick one. Oh, beat him outside the line of off stop. Good pace. Nicely played. Sachin is off the mark. The run away to the boundary. Well, tremendous shot there. Just a flick of the wrist, and the weight went very quickly. Signature stuff, and this is a danger area for Akhtar to get into. Tendulkar just out in front of his pads, works his wrist beautifully into the gap, fast outfield. That's gone and dropped. It was hit very hard by Varinda Seva. And dropped by the fielder. India 10 without a wicket. Well, this was expected. Too quick. It's gone, gone, and yes, six. Top edge was good enough for that one to go over the boundary rope. And runs flowing from the bat off both these batsmen now. Wrong line from Mohamed Sunny. Can't afford to bowl there. He's got two slips and a gully in places. The line has got to be on the off stump. Well, Shweb Akhtar thought he was going to get such a last ball at the last over. A good nippy bouncer. It went high in the air. But missed the fielder, Abdul Razak, hoping against hope to get underneath that one. That's gone. Square driven. They're on their feet. Verinda Sevek, second four of the over. We can't keep up with this. Can't give too much width to Sevek. That's why they're attempting bowling at the pads, but they get any sort of width, he'll go for you. It could be in the air, it's going to take some catching. Square driven, four more. A little bit of width from Ahmad Sami and we're in the save at this time, more in control. Well, I think the first four in this over has scared Sami into getting his line too wide outside off. With the, with the leg glance, he's now followed it up with three wide balls and Sawag is starting to get his rhythm. A tool for caught behind, Sachin Tendulkar, a little late in that one. One for the over, called by Simon Tofu. Oh, that's a great shot. That is a lovely shot through the offside. A little punch. 41 without a wicket.
runs keep flowing for India. Lots of boundaries and plenty of opportunities for India. Being given to them by uh, some rather wayward bowling, although that was a wild shot. And it's been uh, an aggressive start by India. Just never know what you're going to get next from uh, Verenda Sewag. Well, we were entertained uh, many times like this in Australia, uh, Sanjay. He is um, he is unpredictable to say the least. Well, we saw a wild shot a little while earlier. This is orthodox cricket, and one can only admire the skills of this man. Just have a look at this shot. Good whip of the wrist. It's one of his favorite shots. There's the 50 coming up in the sixth over. Timed by Tendulkar. Beautifully timed, in fact. I think this is going to change his mindset now. He's looking to hit the ball hard, play aggressively, but this is just a normal cricket. Short of length delivery. He's just pushed it through the covers. This is second gear for Tendulkar, and it's good enough. Beautifully played. Tendulkar hitting that one on the rise. These are two very talented cricketers at the moment. It's not a bad ball from Shoaib Akhtar. In fact, I like the length on that particular delivery. It wasn't overpitched, but full enough to get a wicket, get the bat and into a shot. Tendulkar is looking to stay on the back foot, but anything that's pitched up, there you can see that feet movement suggesting more prepared for the ball that's shorter in length. That's the mastery of the man. That was a fuller length delivery. And in spite of being prepared for a shot, the delivery was hit for four. And four. Well, that's the move made by Inzamam al Haq, And it has come off and they've got rid of Sachin Tendulkar. Well, he will be disappointed, Tendulkar, with the way he's played in this innings. The runs were coming for him, but in spite of that, he continued to take risks. A boundary earlier, glorious shot to get four, and again attempting a shot that had risk written all over it. No feet movement, so it was just the bat that was uh, doing everything for him. And again, not coming from the middle of the bat. Navidul Hassan taking a good catch. And Shoaib Akhtar is the hero at the moment for Pakistan. 69 for one. Through there for Pakistan brings Saurav Ganguly to the crease. Just nine overs, a terrific strike rate for India after having been sent in. Well, that's a terrific shot. One bounce and over the rope. But as soon as I saw South Africa in that huddle and really hanging on to each other, I thought there's a lot of tension there. And I think we just saw it with Pakistan this morning. I think that adds to the tension. It doesn't help. But gives it everything when he looks to play on the offside. He knows there's a cordon there looking to take anything that's in the air. So he's making sure if he's going to hit in the air, it's going at some velocity. Yes! And he's gone again. A magnificent shot. Another no ball. And what a shot. 
the timing has been impeccable. Another boundary here. He's just in awesome nick. Didn't quite get it, did he? It, 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 inside of the blade, and, but the, the placement. And again, have you noticed, Robin, that they're attacking the first ball of every over. They're really trying to hurt them. There's no doubt it's been a tactic by the Indians. Very well thought out. And successful. There he goes. No ball again. And that will run away for four. He didn't get all of it, but enough. Another no ball. Well, it's Shazam with the gloves. And he didn't quite get there. It, he could have actually cut it through point or put it anywhere. But he said, well, look, I'll just slog it over. Look, it, it should have been really hit through the covers. But again, he's just got this eye that he can hit it to all places of the world. Another no ball, and he's just slogged it. Well, would you call that a straight pull? Probably. <laughs> I can't think of a better way of describing it. A straight pull. But another illegal delivery. It doesn't matter who's running the ball. It doesn't matter whether it's been showed. Sami. Or this lad here. They're all guilty of the same. And they're getting punished. There is to put enough balls in this over. That's gone away for four as well. That's just sheer power. And uh, a great deal of timing. You heard Ian Chappell talking about how well well this top five from India timed the ball. And this fella does both. He's got awesome power as well. That's his 50. What an entertaining innings it's been. There have been one or two prime misses, but there have been some awesome strokes as well. 103 for one. It's been a brilliant 50. It really has off just 43 deliveries, and he's played really well. And he looks up to the sky, thanks his God, and to say, well, there's more here if I can just control myself. He's played beautifully, really has. Oh, has he hammered that or what? My goodness me, for me, the shot of the morning. Oh. Absolutely awesome. He has hit this right in the middle of the bat. A bit of weird, throwing his hands at it. Let's have a look at here, the balance. Oh, awesome. He had no chance at it down there. Oh, deep point. Just land in that sun, Samsung. Oh. Has that gone all the way? Yes, it has. Off the mark for Ganguly. Well, I, I thought he's been between sixes and sevens. He doesn't know where to work the ball on the leg side or, or pull out the big pull shot. Well, I know what he's going to do here. He's made his mind up. Oh, short to me, you're going the distance in front of square. Carried, gone, all the way. What a shot. How's that for confidence? He made his mind up just before he bowled that. If they bowl short to me, I'm going to pull it away on the leg side. So is this fella. Sorry, <laughs> What a good shot that was. Ah. Right in the slot, admittedly, but what beautiful execution. Well, it was in the slot. It was no feet, but the balance and the hands are so good. Ian Chappell mentioned the fact that they're just fantastic times of the ball, and they are. Look at that. That's just class. It, all very well just to throw your hands at it, but you still got to place it. And he just opened the blade up a little bit on impact there, and it's run away. Four, the fine legs up in a catching position. I think it was an attempted change of place from Razak, so yet another bowler brought into the attack, having a shocker with his first over. Honestly, I can't believe what's happening. It's a massacre here in Karachi. The Indians are 129 for one, and can you believe what's just happening? It's just some poor bowling. He tried a little slower ball there, just didn't come out right. There's no boundary rider down there. And another four. 13 boundaries to him. Well, just make that four down. <laughs> oh, 
It's been a wonderful script. He's, a lot of people talk about Tendulka, they talk about Drava, they talk about Laxman. They forget this guy. This guy is a class player for Ender Seawag. And now it's his 14th boundary, 70 inches, 54 balls. He is a class player and he hurts you so badly. You know, I mean, he hits good deliveries, not that that was, but he hits good deliveries for four. So you have to think what he's going to do with bad ones like that. Too short. part of the ground that corner his second six I beg your pardon his third and just add 18 fours to that well he's just making up for it this is the last over of uh, with the fielding restrictions and and it's carried away he just clears his left leg throws his hands through it and the ball is starting to lose its hardness now and then he can just gamble anywhere now poor old no, they, he's gone for 38 in just 13 balls that he's bowled. 38 runs in just 13. He is just being terrorised here. Well, poor old Inderman, he doesn't know what to do. He's brought the deep cover up into the ring. He's put two back now on the leg side. Under extreme pressure, Pakistan at the moment. You said poor old Inderman, what about him? He's gone all round the park and he's got his own back. Disguised, slower ball, well disguised and full. Congratulations. Excellent bowling. Well, he needed to bowl the best Yorker in the world and he had to. He had to really come up with it. And he's backed away because he tried to hit it inside out over a cover. And did it beautifully, didn't he? He didn't have to do it, really. We've got 142 for two already. But, oh, he needed that for confidence because his figures looked absolutely awful before that delivery. And is that the inspiration that Pakistan team needs? And it certainly is. And he goes for a brilliant, absolute brilliant 79 from just 57. India, 142 for two. Dravid joins his captain and I just get the feeling it's a perfect perfect scenario for him it's a, a beautiful stroke player and he's got such a huge platform to play around now beautiful slow ball this that was a more than a slower ball and look how angry Verinda Siwag is at having got out improvising far too much it's a great delivery though great delivery Put it very nicely. They'll run away to the boundary. It's a very, very fast outfield. Wrong line from Abdul Razak. One fifty up, seventeen gone. and they'll run away to the boundary. This outfield is lightning quick. Another no-ball ball by a Pakistani bowler. 19 fours and three sixes now constitute the total of 156. And whilst the outfield is very, very quick, it is a well-grasped outfield. Terrific coverage on the, uh, the field. That's a lovely on drive. That's his speciality. He plays that one so well. I was looking through some figures this morning before the game, and one of the things that struck me with the batting of both sides is that the Indian players are a little better in strike rate than the top order of Pakistan. And the other thing that showed out was that India tend to go on and get big scores more the batsmen go on and get hundreds whereas pakistan are very good at getting a lot of 50s 
Another one. This is classic stuff. Raul Dalit has played two of the most scintillating drives. The run rate now almost 10. Well, I think Sevag has left some of his adrenaline behind. Suddenly Rahul Dravid uh, producing some exceptional shots here. He was in excellent form in Australia, and obviously that form carrying over here on this tour. It's a sky that's gone in the air, but I think it'll land in safe zone. It's very rarely that Saurav Ganguly misses a strong strike. Run rates dropped from 9.97. Whoa, what a beautiful shot. I was going to say it's dropped from 9.7 to 8.1, but let's push it up again. He does strike the ball well down the ground. He played this very well on the bouncing wickets in Australia, especially in Brisbane. He gets out of his crease, he opens up so he can play the short ball square of the wicket. If they pitch up, he still plays it over cover. And this time, down the ground. Whipped over mid-wicket, it'll run away for four. Navid now getting some stick again. That's why I said a run of ball's not, not too bad, because it's so easy to play shots like this. This wicket's so true, the ball's very old, and shots without risk are going to the boundary. Very easily, just whipping across the line from off the stumps. So, you know, a score of 300 is going to be chaseable. They have to work hard for the next 25 overs and keep it to 350. That's a good strike down the ground, and it's beaten long on. I think that in world cricket, Ganguly's one of the better hitters of spinners, particularly straight. And he's, he's never afraid to lose his, leave his crease. He's never afraid, even if the ball's going to turn away from him. Good clean hit. Well, what a good shot that is. You know, for someone who they reckon isn't great at the short ball, I've seen him punish a few long ops, let's put it that way. Well, don't call this a short ball. This is not going to knock the bales off the stumps. Why is it so short? And he's been able to not only muscle it off the stumps, he's muscled it for six. Right off the middle, it's a shot Sachin Tendulkar is expert at. But now, Ganguly in on the party. He is copping a hiding now, Vid. One for 71 from 8.1. Oh, that's straight up in the air. Surely it's out. The bowler wants it. And he's got it, and he's happy about it. That's twice. He's been hit for six and got a wicket the very next ball. Ganguly doesn't want to go. But he's going to have to. He doesn't want to go because of the hiding he's given Navid up to this stage. Two for 71 now. And he's coming back. This is the ball. It's dug in again. Top edge this time, because the first one was a much more risky shot than it looked. He gets the top edge the second time, the bowler takes the catch. Ganguly's frustration is so obvious, he thought he was on the road to a big hundred. Well, he didn't get given out by the umpire, getting given out by the bowler. And he went back again just to chat to uh, drop it, but he's gone now. 45. Another excellent innings from an Indian, nipped in the bud, 2.14 for three. Yuvraj Singh, 90 matches, averaging 30, strike rate of 86 and a half, and just over 2,000 runs in this form of the game. And a quality timer of the ball and a very good improviser, particularly towards the end of an innings. Uh, aggression from Rana. A lot more venom than the two he produced to Ganguly. One, he got hit for six over straightish mid-wicket. This is a dismissal. Again, it's only waist high. The shot was on if he played the one before so effortlessly. But this time, gets the outside edge or the top edge. 
with a horizontal bat shot. He gets given. And he was frustrated, wasn't he? It just went across him a little too much. Tried to pull it from the outside off a little too much. In the air. And has he caught it? Did it carry? Yes, it looks at, as if it has. Yuvra Singh on his way. And that might just hold this innings up a little bit. That's a big wicket for Pakistan. You see Hamid moving brilliantly at mid-off. Covered good ground, took it low to his right to support the bowling of Navid. He's got three wickets. We've been saying how expensive they've been, but we'll take them. Is there any slow ball in this lot? No, just backspin, normal out, seam up out of the hand, scooped up. The new batsman not right in with the bounce of this pitch. Held up a little bit, got the scoop shot. Great catch to back up the bowling of Navid. Alias Rana. 2.20 for four. Sport Body Spray, new black collection. Mohamed Kais is the next man in, number 11, probably uh, number 11 on his back, that is. Probably in the side instead of Rudy S. Laxman, who's injured, but still has a strike rate of 72, average of 30, nearly 31. He's played 60 matches, lots of experience. And then the runs go into Dravid's book. He's got a 50 for himself. 253 for four. India maintaining a very, very good strike rate. I'm quite impressed with the way Shoaib Malik has bowled. Came on at a time when uh, things were absolutely desperate for Pakistan. That's a good shot. Good sweep shot. And he's done a pretty good job. That's an excellent shot. Lovely timing. Always uh, great to watch a straight drive. Minimum effort. If a moment Kev was struggling to get back, just making sure that he's inside the crease, just in case the bowler gets a flick onto the stumps. fans will be making their presence felt as the tournament progresses. Another straight drive. It's played that shot so well right through. And that's Mohamed Kaif's urgency in the running. He's got the extra run. Shoei Bakhtar at long gone. That's a beautiful pull shot and well fielded down there, really was. Yes, sir, Hamid, very good piece of work. And let's not forget, Pakistan chased 335 and got them in 46 overs in a match just a couple of days ago. So, you know, there's no score that's safe at the moment. Look at this for a piece of work, lovely pull shot. Here's a good view of it here. Yes, sir, Hamid trying to get around and getting his body down or diving and rolling around. Good effort. Save two. Lovely try to the offside. All goes to the boundary as well. Well, Kaf at his very best. And that has brought the Indian supporters on their feet. It's his first boundary, and what a shot. Just there just shows how much potential this kid's got, isn't it? Look at the timing and the balance back and across. And the placement was just... <laughs> Left the Pakistani fieldsman just motionless. They just stood there and watched it. What a shot.
What a shot. The answer the obvious reply. 42 gone, 292 for four. And that is the reason why. And it's a beautiful shot. He wasn't going to stop it even if he was on the boundary. But as a beautiful shot by Muhammad Cave. It's his second boundary. Just just went into leg stump a little bit. Drop kicked it over Mick Wicket. He is a very, very good time of the ball. We hadn't seen him in, in Australia. I know Ian Chappell has mentioned the fact that he's just wrapped in the top six batsmen that Indian possessed. Wonderful timers of the ball. This boy is no different. He is a fantastic timer of the ball. Zark has uh, bowled a pedestrian over. 45 gone, 324 for four. Really was a poor over, wasn't it? Three boundaries in that over, and, and again, feeding the ball into leg stump, particularly with the fine leg up into the circle, and just poor concentration, and a little clip, good placement again, very fast outfield. And that's just beautiful piece of batting, really is. He's gone to 41 from 47 balls now with four boundaries. Playing beautifully at KF. Hope he finishes it off pretty well. Now McCann once again timing the ball beautifully. And the result rolling over. That's gone through. Another uh, stumbling effort. A tumbling effort. Yeah, there was always two in that, but there's Rana Navid Al Hassan down there doing the work on the boundary. Gave him just back to a little bit, cleared his left leg, hit through the line. And look at that. Again. A little bit critical, it could have stayed on his feet, but they would have made two anyway. Will this be the in-swinging Yorker? The attempted in-swinger has been put away brilliantly by Rahul Dravid. What a shot. Making room so that the swing of the bat could meet the ball. And it bisected mid-off and cover just about perfectly. Oh, he's played some brilliant shots in this innings, there's no doubt about it. Eight families already, but that was almost as good as any of them. Really was. He's on 99 not out now. Now they're bringing the fine leg up. Mid-off has gone back. That stops Shaw back up for bowling the bouncer, so the ball will be full. The 99. Slow one and bowled him! Through the gate, Rahul Dravid perishes on 99. A little bit of inside edge. Well, got an inside edge for me, and Muhammad Kaif has ran over towards him, and he's just played brilliantly. He really has. It's been a brilliant 99. Deserved 100. What's one more run? to me but he really has done a fantastic job here it is here i thought he got inside edge he did licked it onto leg stump and now he's so disappointed he wanted a hundred here but that was good as one shire puts his arms up but he said to him well played on the way out good sportsmanship show by shire there and well played there 99 there to roll driver india 338 for five Now walking in to replace Rahul Dravid, who was cleaned up by Shweb on 99. Terrific innings from Rahul. 40 matches for Badani with uh, a good decent average. He's just started his career. Best of 100. And this is how Rahul was dismissed. It's the first shot he's played off balance for the whole innings. He just got up and he just couldn't believe it. Become the third player for India to make 
a 99. DVS Laxman and Chris Shrikamp has made a 99 for India, and he just cannot believe he's hit the ball on the run a little bit, hasn't he? Here he is here. He's moving all over the place, inside edge. Oh, disappointing. Deserved 100. It's gone to and uh, that will be for the tempted Yorker from Mohammed Sunny being converted into a full toss. There was width there for the batsman. Oh, very close. And yes, gone. Simon Toffel caught for a moment, but it was very, very close and uh, rightly given. Crowds are on their feet once again. Mohamed Sami gets another wicket. Well, they've fought back pretty well in this last five or six overs. They really have. It always helps when you get a few wickets. That slows the scoring down the best of times. Let's have a look at here. He's played very well, Mohamed Kayu. And it's hit the inside of his pads, and that would hit middle of the leg stump for me. That's a, it's a pretty good decision there by Simon Taufel. Let's have a look at Hawkeye and bang. Hits middle of the leg stump. And, and he goes for LBW. So that's a good confidence boost as well for the umpires. It's important for them to get the things right. And well played. This kid is a very good player. We'll see more things from him in this tour. Out for 46, India, 344 for six. Zahir Khan is the new batsman for India. 78 matches. And he's got a bit of experience. Strike rate of 77.2, best of 34, not out. He'll be looking to give uh, the strike back to Haman Badani. This is how Mohamed Kaf was dismissed. Plum in front. A little late on that one. It was a quick delivery from Mohamed Sami, beaten for pace. And played it across the line. And he was looking, hoping that that wouldn't be given as leg before. Mohamed Sami knew straight away that was close. Oh, he knew it was real close, didn't he? But just a little look, he was looking at the umpire, Simon Tarpal. He just knew. He's bowled pretty well with his last few overs, Mohamed Sami. I really like him. He's a, a very mature cricketer. Here it is here. Hits the inside of the pad. Not balanced. Here's the appeal. And give it. Oh, a bowler. Good walker for Mohamed Sami. He's got pace. And he has found the target this time brings joy to the crowd even though India are in a commanding position 344 for seven it's still a wicket it does bring a lot of joy to them a fantastic Yorker he really has bowled well I, I, I just like this kid he just knows where to go and bowls at a good pace 88 miles per hour bag right on leg stump and that's a good answer two wickets in this over couldn't be a better over really for the Pakistanis here just watch this Watch the timber go. Here it is here, different action. And bang, it's good night. Shocking sound when you're a batsman, let me tell you. And Zahir Khan goes for a duck. He's had a good tour up to now. Not. 3.44 for seven. Morley Karthik replaces Zahir Khan. Zahir didn't trouble the scorers. Went for not. 14 matches for him. He's a left-hander, but this was, was a lovely Yorker. Beat the batsman for base, and uh, well, bullseye. Pushing the middle. Chance of a run-up, but Mohamed Sami was just a little lethargic in getting behind it. The stumps 10, 2 for 74 for Sami, 345 for 7. So Pakistan doing well in the last 10 overs of the innings. India, 349 for seven after 50 overs. Tremendous innings from Rahul Dravid. A tremendous batting by most of their frontline batsmen, and in the end, just one run away from 350. Just an incredible batting performance by India. This is the highest total that India has put up ever against Pakistan and on a very important day. 349 for 7, Rahul Dravid 
missing, <coughs> beg your pardon, missing his hundred by a run, but he was the star performer there in the Indian batting lineup. Well, uh, quite a few of the Pakistani fast bowlers suffering there. Look at the figures of Abdul Razak, nine overs for 83. Shoaib Akhtar making a good comeback there at the top with an economy rate eventually of 5.50. Basically, you could see the bowlers suffered under the onslaught of the Indian batsmen. Tall order, it's a big mountain to climb for Pakistan. Seven runs per over is the required run rate. We'll take a short break. When we come back, we'll have the Pakistan run chase for you. Stay with us. Strangely enough, with uh, Shoaib Akhtar getting some exaggerated swing and Seawag in particular wafting away, missing the ball by quite a lot. Didn't miss that by so much. Beautifully bowled. A little bit of movement, a little bit of swing and pitched on and around, I would say, the six to seven yard area. One thing that's so important is that you cannot afford to bowl any width. This is spot on. Seam upright. Moves away from the left-hander slightly. The batsman playing with his feet together, which indicates that uh, it wasn't full enough to get a big stride in. Just short of eight yards from the from the batsman's stumps. Not his crease, but the batsman's stumps. Eight yards. And he was on the back. He sort of back foot. He can be touched fuller than that. Well, that might just be two foot. The line didn't help either. It was more middle and leg. They're going to get three here. Good fielding initially, but the ball got away from the fielder, which uh, afforded the extra run because he had to get up and run after it. Pulled away. He won't get that. That's four. Power plus. Just on the hit, and the front hit. Another shot that Said Anwar perfected in his day. Quite often you had to put a man back there for this. Right from the word go in a one-day innings. Fine leg up and backward square back. It looks like for Fahat, it's the same. Brilliant shot. Balaji not too far wrong. Beautiful timing and placement. Run away for four. What an excellent stroke. Oh. Delayed the stroke almost in order to get it through that gap. Fantastic. There was only a little gap to get through. This will show it beautifully. Good length. The front foot was still on the move. Diving left, diving right. Sorry, four. The bowler did nothing wrong. It was just classic stroke play.
Hold it. Middle stamp out of the ground, or is it the off? It's the off. Little bit of movement and a wicket well deserved from some tight bowling by Balaji. Balaji and Khan have settled on some tight offside lines. Balaji's been taking it away from the right hander, away, away. Watch this one dart back in. The right hander leans all over it, doesn't see it coming. In swinger takes off stump, out of action. Balaji takes a huge wicket. The quietness of a crowd, the one for 32. Yusuf Johanna averaging 42 in this format of the game with a strike rate of uh, something just under 75. 160 matches, that's an awful lot of games. Awful lot of experience, five and a half thousand runs near enough. There's gone. Carrying just enough for Rahul Dravid to take a low catch. Give me some more time, I'll rave even more about the Indian bowlers. But there you are, the second wicket gone, and it's a good one. This man was looking in good touch, run for hard. Great bowling once again, they have settled. They've found out what's an appropriate length here to left-hander and right-hander, and also a line. Half onto the front foot, beautiful outside edge because Zaheer Khan got it to nip away. Having got their control right, they're now producing some skill having some fun two for 34 as the crowd becomes even quieter the most successful Pakistan one-day batsman in Zamam ul Haq takes the crease and Imran Khan at the start of the uh, second inning said if uh, miracles have to happen it's uh, in Zamam ul Haq will have to create that is the man with the ability as we see another Pakistani batsman trying to play through the line not getting to the pitch. It's a modern day cricket. Where a lot of batsmen are looking to get on the front with even the shorter length deliveries. Looking to hit through the line. And there's a certain movement of the pitch which at the moment is there for the hard new ball. They found themselves in trouble. This time it's for hard the left-hander. Great shot. Johanna is a wonderful player to watch. Well played. Came in a lot. The intention was perhaps all the time to look to play down the lake side. This is a very good shot by Inzamam. Fine leg was up. He spotted it. Yeah, he needed a shot to get his innings flowing, didn't he? And he got an easy one on leg stump, and here it is here. Good angle of the camera here. Just a little flick. Just a little flick. Bread and butter shot there for class players. Oh, that's a half volley that he'll hit, well, 3.30 a.m. of the day. Brings up the 50 for Pakistan. Well, you could bat like that and get an easy one on your legs. That's bread and butter, isn't it? That had nuts and topping on it. Just absolute juicy, this one. Any player playing this level should get them away. Balaji really has his work well, line and length. But at the time, just feeling he's getting it. And Did it carry? Well, there's a great effort. He's not happy. I thought he just got a hand on it before it hit the ground. I'm a little surprised that it's fallen short of Yuvraj Singh because he's one uh, fielder at point who really likes to come in. And it seemed like he had given everything in, but no timing at all. And dies on Yuvraj Actually, he got his fingers underneath the ball. He's got this unique way of diving, Yuvraj Singh. It doesn't cover too much distance in the front. He sort of dives into the ground more than just diving forward it's a very unique uh, style of diving of you Russell follows it up with four how would the bowler be feeling but well, that wraps salt into the wound doesn't it a very very good shot the third boundary to use a few and I just said before he's just getting a little bit predictable I thought now he's lying a little bit of width 
and just goes past Euros. Just saying he should have caught it. Here's the man is printing for the first one. As a result, he will think of the third and get two. Brilliant effort down there by Murali Kartek. Really was a big effort. Probably is a bit too fine, the third man, but it ends a good over. 59 for two. Picked that one up with good use of the wrist. A couple of runs to take Pakistan further. And how far would they go in the next half an hour? To tell you all about that, it's going to be Ramiz Raja and Ian Chappell. That occasion he does wait and guides it nicely to third man. This is where he's so good. Anything. Just a way outside that off stump, he guides the ball efficiently. Inzaman loves to use his feet, uses them well for a big man. This could very well turn out to be a good ploy by Saurav Ganguly. He wants another wicket at this stage, says. Luring the batsman into go going over the top, maybe coming down the track. There's long on in position. A couple of fours will not hurt India at this stage. And the other one, if we can pick a look at a two, and that will be a bonus for them. Well, that's a brilliant effort, and uh. Amazingly, it's come from Ashish Nehra, who's been a real liability for India in the field. Certainly in Australia, he was the man who was misfielding regularly, but that's a terrific effort. Well, Ian, it's a different, it becomes a different ball game when you're playing against Pakistan. More effort, more room into your effort. It's a good bouncer, it's going to cost him uh, four runs, but it was a very well-directed bouncer. 77 for two. That's a huge, huge six. That's going out of it. And Zaman al has struck that one. He's two miles away. That's the boundary rope. Brilliant shot. Well, I saw him hit one in Sharjah that uh, hit the facade right at the top of the stand. Went very close to going out of the stand. And I think uh, that hit has rivaled it. It was a huge one. Doubt about the intent within Zaman. He's in trouble here, but good throw. In Zaman, uh, a lot slimmer at the moment. And he's really putting in with the running between wickets. So far, the Indian bowling has been uh, pretty much on target, and the ball according to their field. It's a magnificent shot. It's lovely timing from Johanna. The typical use of Johanna drive inside out. He plays really well in that arc. Making a little bit of room, staying inside the line of the ball. 
not intentionally putting it away almost went for a six it's a very very good timer Cricketing shot. A little bit of width and great timing once again from Yana. That'll take him under 50. And appreciation from this crowd. Some have left, I think, but the rest are really enjoying it. Including the dressing room. Comes the man, gets that uh, back with a square placement. Perfect once again. Hey, the pedal's just been pushed a little bit here. He can't take his place this one. No energy through the crease. You watch him bowl there. There's just no energy through the crease. Saw him short. He's, he's just a great watcher of the ball, a great watcher of length. There it is. He just placed that. It wasn't any venom on the ball. There's hardly any revs. That's a freebie. Poor bowling. Shazam. Another boundary. 11 off the over. Now only three off this over. He's going to get four for that. Phil for the bowler. He's bowled a great over. Inside edge, he's gone for four. 141 for two. Let's see what he's going to bowl. That's Imzimam's 50. Plus one. That's his... 69th 50, he's got the most 50s by any player in one day international cricket and he's got 800s, obviously he doesn't go on and one of the reasons for that is fitness I think in one way but he has to go on with, with it today if you feel Pakistan going to win this game and he's just bowling these little loopy leggies, he's not the worst with them let me tell you Well nominated, Dean Jones. There's no doubt they've worked out that, that the Indians struggle in the fourth and fifth bowler department and they're going to go and try and hurt them. It's a matter of being patient. And now they've got batsmen who are into attacking. And all of a sudden, Johanna's gone to 61 from 58. He's third six. Look at this for the follow through. Look at the ball. The white ball disappear. He's gone in the air again. Easily done once more by Yohana Wow to those young players watching this at home you don't have to really flash the bat try to hit hard to hit a six Tendulka floats up the rolling leggy Yohana waits for it and just times it long the field is there but he's not even in the sights of Yohana Once again, hasn't got the height and is taken. Long off takes a catch. the Sehwag has broken through. Won't be fair to call him a part-time off spinner anymore. He's got the big wicket. Johanna is walking back. And aren't they happy? 73 from 66 balls for Yusuf Johanna. Magnificent innings under pressure. But it needed to be about 140, 150. If the Pakistanis are going to be safe, the crowd know it. They're appreciating it, though. Good catch. 
Composure by Patan is on the field. And Yusuf Johanna gets a warm appreciation by the crowd here at the National Stadium. Three for 169. Yunus Khan is the man for Pakistan, replacing Yusuf Johanna at the crease. Tall order for him to keep that rhythm of the Pakistan batting going. Hasn't been in the best of forms of late. He's found the gap. That's four more. The art to this shot is getting so much pace on a ball. It's tidy line and it's not wide of off stump by any means. And yet, Al Hark's been able to get real pace on it to get it into the gap and race it away. The power of the man with a touch of finesse. But the sooner than later, he's got to look at one of his uh, premier fast bowlers to find some swing at. That's two consecutive fours. Tendulkar is having plenty of problems at the moment. Well, this one is wide of off stump. And still, he gets so much power, but he finds the gap to the right of Yuvraj Singh this time. The first one went to the right of him as we look at him. That one goes to the left of him as we look at him on screen and beats the sweeping man by a long, long way. Oh, he's found the gap. It's a big one. Should go all the way. It does. Ramesh Pawar will only retrieve the ball. That's the third boundary in the over, and one ball to go. You can see what Tendulkar's thinking. That one's a little quicker, 64 miles an hour. But he just over pitches it, full toss. And even though it's low on the bat, what sort of timing is that? Faster ball and disappears quickly too. Putting more grass on it or helping the spinners uh, by leaving some dryness on it. All pitches I expect on the series will be good batting pitches. He's gone in the air. He's got enough distance. It's sailed over the advertising hoardings. That's a Yunus Khan special. Knee on the ground, get under the ball and get the distance. Of course, three or four overs bowling like this, if you're allowed to. The Pakistani batsmen have to take these sorts of risks, and that's what it was, long and successful. Well, it brings up the 200 for Pakistan. And that was very nearly their chance. So here's another opportunity, mid-off, and he has... Uh, he went round and round in circles. It looked as though the ball was going to stay in the field of play. But eventually it cleared the rope comfortably. Benzaman was getting frustrated. He took his chance. A good line from Murli Tartik. He hit that very well. Ashish Neera can't get there. Well, that threatening posture from Enzaman al -Hak did the job for him. Only Carver, just a little confused in the end bowling, a juicy full toss. Enzaman threatening to come down the track and then uh, stayed in his crease and uh, had an easy ball in the end. Only Carver under pressure, 126, 7 from 82 now. Inzamam looking for two. Very good running, he's running hard. That's very well hit. A real skimmer, that one. 
disdainfully putting it away and Zamama Luck stroke that one beautifully, majestically in the end. Just a flick of the wrist. What a player he is. Get a four. That delivery will kill Pakistan's efforts here. He's got through uh, Ganguly. Ashish Naira has really put in in the field today. Almost uh, caused a run out there. It's been referred to the third umpire. He's not happy. I think his, uh, his body has probably touched the, touched the fence. Terrific effort. No, I think that's gone on to hit that uh, skirting. And even though it was a fantastic effort, I'll be signal this four. And Zamam on 99. Earlier saw Rahul Jawit being bowled out for 99. Well, he's fluctuating wildly on the scoreboard uh, in Zamam. Now he's on two. That is going from the sublime to the ridiculous. Well, that one's got past uh, mid on, so he is officially a hundred uh, and everybody's scorecard now. And thank heavens for that. He's almost caught the dressing room. Also, realized uh, that he was probably not yet on 100. A worried look on the face of Jawed, but he's got it. Terrific innings from Inzama Ninth one day 100. Coming at a crucial time, leading from the front. Oh, Inzamam just hits it and stands there. This is terrific stuff from Pakistani captain. And the crowds are on their feet. They realize there's a sniff of a chance here. Pakistan can still win this one. Great piece of timing and placement from Inzamam. Read the link so early. He's a powerful hitter. Four. Well read by Inzamam. That fine leg was up in the circle. Yorker from Zahir Khan not working. Not working. Intelligent piece of cricket from the captain. Round the wicket. Up over the top. It might not get there, but it does. Poor start to this over and the 100 partnership. Got to get the ball down. Floating up big high pullies, even though it's outside off. Yunus Khan loves hitting over cover. It's just a little gift there for him. And he says, thanks very much. Clip that away. What a wonderful shot. It, it just total and utter disdain. He just stood there, almost as if he'd picked his spot and hit it there. Made it look so easy, that's why it's taken so long for the crowd to erupt. He just swatted it. He got a little bit of angle. This time, Naira got it on middle stump, I'd reckon. And that's why... Oh, thank you. Just a little top spin forehand. With great power. Big appeal as he caught him behind. He has... The big fella's gone. The hero of the day. Now, is that what is going to turn this game on its head, or has he done enough for his other batsmen? I'll tell you what it was, it was gutsy line by Murali Carter coming back into the attack. And a great catch by the part-time Raul Dravid, didn't he hold his nerve? He has to stay low. 
He has to worry about the situation. Can't worry what the batsman's doing. He has to keep his gloves soft, and he does it. Inzamamo Hart, happy to walk. The crowd aren't happy, but listen to this reception. One of the best you'll see, 122 in just 104 balls. 278 now, but for four. Razak, 155 matches, strike rate of 77, average of 40, that doesn't matter, it's strike rate that it's all about now, 72 from 47 balls. He's missed the first one. Well, there's a very different delivery. And it's raced to the boundary for four, so maybe he should carry on with the Orcas. Put the slower ball back in the kick bag. 65 miles an hour, that. Have a look at Eunice Khan. He does set. He's looking for the Yorka. He sets. Then he sees it slower, and then he just lays back and slaps it over cover. That's top stroke play. That's slapped over extra. It's just a question of how far, only far enough for four, but that'll do. Another big over, 297 for four. One of the best shots of the day. So Balaji's tried everything in that over. He's tried slow balls, he's tried Yorkers, he's got a full toss, now a shorter ball, but what he's done through all of them is give too much width. Eunice Khan's just letting him see his stumps. He backs away a little bit, clears the front leg, and he's been able to whack it through. It's Razak, actually, the new batsman, and that's how he loves to hit. Clever shot. Will it get past him? Yes, it does. Now there's a race on. Fielder wins it. I like the first two balls of this over so far. Merely Kartik's last over. He's gone for 68 so far with four balls to go, but he's been on middle stump. The Pakistanis are going to have to give their stumps away. They've had to give them away, whereas last over, Balaji gave them width to hit through and over the offside. Straight, look for two, run hard. Doesn't have to, it's gone for four. Squizzit timing. Now suddenly it's 46 from 33. Again, on the stumps, he gives the stump up, hits it on the bottom of the bat and still beats the sweeper. I can't believe the power. Bowled in. Bowled in and good bowling. Exactly what Ian Healy's been telling us. He's kept his line, gutsy bowling. Well done. You wouldn't believe it. It's a full toss, but it's fast. He bowled about 58 miles an hour. It's a little quicker. He got on to Eunice Khan before he could do anything about it. Looks easy, but it's fast. And he's late. Hits the base of middle, the base of off. Thank you. Presses off for maybe two minutes while the new batsman comes in. Wonderful innings, too, from Eunice Khan. 46 from 47, 305 for five. Moen Khan, clever little player, doesn't average a great deal, but look at the strike rate, 81. He can improvise, and he's going to need to. Yes, it is. What an enormous strike. 
should get 12 for that. Really should. Saw him hit a four off the bottom of his bat last over. This one finds the middle. And you don't have fielders up there. Hits the fascia of the stand a long, long way. Balaji, this is the one, Robin. On television, it looks so easy. He did nothing wrong, and look at it disappear. Tried a little change in pace. Bowled him. Well done. He's come back well. Rezek looking to give himself room, and the off stump goes back. And this becomes more and more of a nail biter. An eerie silence falls over the National Stadium. Gutsy, skillful bowling. He'd gone wide, wide. Now the slow ball, he changes it in the hand, produces the oppy. He grips on the wicket, and Razak about now thinks, why, why didn't I slog it? I'm out playing feebly. Why didn't I go through with the big shot? Khan has filled me. He's out 28 from 20 balls required, 6 for 3, 22. Shoaib Malik, he can hit it. Those stats don't mean a thing because he's got to do a bit better than that right now. I've seen him uh, smash South Africa for 80 and just 50 balls just a couple of months ago. He needs to be in that sort of net now. The reason he's out there, very clever bowling. Took all the pace off, but turned a little bit as well. But as uh, he also said, Razak will say, why didn't I just smear that? Why didn't I change the shot and try and run it down to the third man for one? Two here. If they run really quickly, oh, man, can't stumble just a little bit, so it will... Oh, here's problems. No, the throw isn't accurate, so they get their three. Oh. It's got that away. Should get two. Oh, they will now. Oh, they were anyway. Didn't cost anything, Sachin. Up in the air and over extra. Two more. There's six. Six and over. Another full toss by Balaji. He has to be careful. Try to hit the deck if possible. The base of the stumps rather than floating it up, but not easy to do. Under great duress. Dig circular. Fast backlift by Moen Khan. Now, what have we got in store this over? One certainly, two probably. Two it is. Looking for the third. Oh, they've gone for it as well. Well, that is poor fielding. When you're backing up from a throw anywhere on the ground, if you're in line with it, you've got to get in there and make sure there isn't an extra run. Our cameraman spot on. It's the captain at fault. That man had just moved straight. A Moen Khan hit to his left, made him move. They got the two, no worries, and then Ganguly left clutching at nothing. Gives them a third. Maybe that might... Whoa, there's a good chase here. Is there a collision? Has he caught it? Somebody has. Somebody has. Mohamed Kaif has caught as good a catch as you will see in the outfield for as long as you ever watch cricket. Fantastic. Silence descends. The shot was on. Midoff and Midon have been playing around with their positions. So he went straight down the ground. Didn't quite get it. It was in the air for a long time. Both men were heading for a collision. And yet, Mohamed Kaif hangs on to it. Hemang Badani prevents injury. Stays out of the way just. Oh, takes the brim of the hat off. It could have been the melon, it wasn't. It was a great catch by Cape. Seven for 340, 10 to win from seven. Missed it. Down the leg side, but between the batsmen. 
and the wicket keeper. Pressure mounts. Nine from five. Boundary required. Yorker. It will get Mohan Khan down there, but what a good delivery. Perfect. Right in the block hole. Only one. Eight from four. Boundary still required. At least one. Preferably for the home side. A big one. He's got it between the batsman and the stumps again. What a good over this is. Another day. That's a little inside edge and it flies down for four. Today it wasn't. Meander saying, get away, make room, play it on the offside. <laughs> Three great deliveries, two dots and one. You, you're already in a in focus. He's done it again, though. He's got it in the block hole. He should only be one. Man, guard slipped again. Here's a run out. Look, it comes the other end. It has done yeah. very slowly. Now they're looking for it. Oh, dear. Then is out one. Seven required from two. Here we go. He's hit it up in the air. He will be caught. And what a fantastic game of cricket we've just witnessed. India looked like winning for a long time. Pakistan suddenly came back into the game. And a wonderful innings from Imzimam ul -Hat. Looked as if he'd wrested it away from the visitors. He got out, and those below him just couldn't quite manage. But wow, what a game. For all of us, it's going to take some time to get over what we've seen today on a very important day, a dream match played between India and Pakistan and the narrowest of margins when you consider the big scores that were put up by both teams. Almost 700 runs scored, eventually India had just a little more than Pakistan to win the game. Inzamam was simply superb. 3 for 66 for Zahir Khan but Ashish Nehra bowling that all-important over to get India the win. Falling short by 5, Pakistan. And as a result, there you are, the first one-day international in the Samson Cup. India win by five runs. In Zamam for his 100, although that ended up as a losing effort, was the man of the match. Well, I hope you enjoyed the highlights. Until next time, from all of us here, it's goodbye.